happy. I don't want to miss any lore. I'm not too worried about the, the paintings and the blueprints right now, but I really don't want to miss lore. But we'll check everything out. We'll pull levers, make things happen, see what, see what this does. Okay, okay, so that's where you come from. Very cool. I mean, we could probably go into that little crawl space and see what's what in there. Maybe even in here. Oh. Nope. Nope. Change my mind. Nope. Damn it. Arc pylon. Sparky bastard. Me alone. It's definitely off. I wonder if, if you waste a rewiring tool on it. Oh man, I thought that was... Uh, we got one available. I don't think there's anything in this room that we need though. Hey, I want you to see what that is. What is that? Is that like a money pouch or something? check in this area again. I want to go down into the waiting area and also check upstairs up there. We need to remember check uh, what do you call it? Windows. Thank you. Superhero landing! What is it with people throwing money in a well? Oh. Yeah, we're down here now. He's wounded! Let's finish him! Shut your face! <laughs> Uh oh. Huh. Found guilty of standing in my way. Take it. Shh, be quiet. Be careful. This was devised to test the limits of the clockwork soldiers. Quite dangerous. If you're really looking for Sokolov, that old nag is around here somewhere. I'm not looking for him. Whoa! That's a comfortable position to be in. I mean, we'll bump into Sokolov eventually, but we're not actually looking for the old chap right now. What we should probably do is use our senses more often. Um, well, we'll give it the once over with our eyeballs. Deactivate all magnetic or mechanical devices while the while the assessment chamber is in use, nothing must interfere with my delicate calibrations. Wait, we put a stun mine down, why can't we carry more? You gotta be kidding me? You've got to be kidding me, have you? Are you not? Today, risking my very life, I bring you the probing questions about our new Empress Delilah. Read it, thank you. That is just freaky as shit. Oh! Oh dude, I'm sorry. Later, I'll be Shh. I didn't realise there was anybody left. There's me just fucking elephant footing around here. I mean that's one way to do it. Oh, wait, use. Yeah. He's fine. Anton Sokolov is down there. He's in jail. I'll check you out in a minute, Mr. Sock. So that would have brought the lift down here, but we just... We destroyed the shit. Why would you worry about such a thing? We've been here for months, but we've barely seen a third of the house. If he can replace members of the Grand Guard with those blasted mechanical men, 
Why not us? Do you have to ask? Can you imagine one of them pouring tea? It might take your hand off. Give Jindosh time. He'll figure that out too. We'll be out on the streets. I wouldn't last a night outside, and neither would you. I mean, are you guys friendly towards me? I'm not you sure. Think you're going to elude my clockworks, but you'll only end up teaching me, adding to my studies. I hate the way he aches on whoever breaks into the mansion. I wish he'd just escort them outside and be done with it. Why torment them? I'm so I am so sorry. I was going for the little choke. You turned around, you needed the face punch. Trying to be a good guy. You try to be a good guy. Just choke out the help. We should turn that off. Take it off the stove. We don't want to ruin it. Don't want them to get fired or anything. Is there an alarm clock there? Alarm clock there. Freaking hell, there's clocks everywhere. Um. What else we got going on? So all of them are over here. Bone charm, bone charm, bone charm. Roan. Okay, Sock, I'm coming to you, buddy. Do I know this place? Have I wisdom to convey? Oh, look at that! Nothing more. Look up! We saw gloves in here somewhere, boots. There you are, dude. Saw glove. Oh, and there's a painting to grab as well, and some other weird shit right there. Oh man, are we? We got to figure out this maze. There's no way we can get above them. Once we're in there, we're in it. We're in it to win it. That's going to be fun. Let's see if we can go get these first. Uh, quick save that. You're quite close now. I can't remember any other visitor getting so far. Do you feel pride? Hey! get above that can we there's no way a representative from the sisters of the ocular order in Sericonus paid a surprise visit this week to the officials at the grand palace delivering a message that calls into doubt the order's formerly held position on the illegitimacy of our new empress Delilah Caldwin it seems that there is an intense disagreement between the sex of the secretive organization while not a full reversal the visit to the Grand Palace prompted the following statement from the Duke Luca Abel, or Abel. It pleases me that the Sisters of the Ocular Order have come closer to endorsing our beloved Empress. A recent and valiant coup is an attempt is an attempt at restoring the just rule to the Empire, and I advise the Ocular Order and the ever stubborn Abbey of the Everyman to immediately embrace Delilah as, a, as the Empress accepting her wisdom and authority. We thank the Ocular Sisters for delivering the, the vision and we call for the day, and we call for a day of celebration. Meanwhile, Vice Overseer Liam Byron, speaking on behalf of the Abbey of the Everyman, advises restraint, saying that the latest missives from the Ocular Order are still being interpreted and debated. Ooh, so it's not a clean sweep. They never, never convinced everybody. I thought the Everyman would have agreed, because they hated us, right? They absolutely hated us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Turn your digits off, son. You hear that thing? Getting all growly at me. Danger, danger. High voltage. Can we not do something like shoot that? Maybe. Oh, 
I'll use that my friggin' arrows. Wow, that's no joke. We could go through as a rat by the looks of it. And there's a rat right there. I mean, we could, probably could do that. Lower maps, no. Uh, powers. We've got none. We carry no runes. Okay, we can't do that. And then... I mean, that one's clearly in that direction. Where's the... I thought there was one more. You're above me. The black bone charms as well. They're, they're unique ones. They're worth getting. Okay, let's pull this lever, see what happens. Is there a room underneath here? No, there's nothing. Okay, that's interesting. Well, you might be right, buddy. I might never reach you. So that bone charm's up the way that we, we came down here. I think so, anyway. See if we can just climb up here instead of wasting magic. There we go. Uh oh. Carvel, can you make these jumps, buddy? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do it, Sunshine. Good lad. Yo, Ula, how you doing, buddy? Ula. 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 We did a thing up here. Oh man, what is this weird ass thing that you're making? Holy shit. Inoperative? Oh. All the different clockworks that he's making. We're in the creepy bastard's bedroom. Oh, a letter from the Duke. Yeah, I'm pretty good, dude. Thanks for asking. Corinne, my dear grand inventor. Who else possesses such a keen mind? Could any other of the inner circle achieve such industrial marvels? I appreciate how superbly your clockwork soldiers performed in Dunwall, cutting those guards still loyal to Emily Caldwin to ribbons. And Brianna Ashworth claims that you've been invaluable, helping her with the auriculum contraption. Delilah will be pleased. Please dispatch a courier as soon as you, you have what you need from Anton Sokolov. Press him as you see fit. No methods are off limits. We must find a way to produce your clockwork soldiers in greater quantities. Ramsey and the Crown Killer were just the start. I need to break down Delilah's remaining allies. Jindosh, the Duke, all of them. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Combat protocol six. Let's go. Let's go then, dude. Lose your arm. Back attack. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. My followers are shooting up. Yeah, I've put a little goal on there for 500, but it's it's pretty stagnant right now. I had a little growth spurt for a while. I don't even know what game it was I was playing. It's just some random shit. But, um... Yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing good. Oh man, where am I now? Shit, the bed. I never saved for a long time, did I? Okay. Whoops. Shut your face. Oh! Smash straight through that. Get out of here. Ayo! I started streaming on 
Be man twitch. <sighs> it's kind of cool. Oh, thank you for the host as well, dude. What a champion. So we got the whiskey tumbler, anything in here that we that we didn't know about. I didn't realise this little scumbag was going to come to leave. Play back indicates that the machine is waking up. Each new visitor is another test for the clockwork soldiers. Hey, the machine has detected something. Federal detection state. I want to hit the back of this thing. The machine is over. Oh, that's one way. Whoa! Okay, the back of it. Holy shit. We figured it out, boys. We're almost done in here, I think. But we figured... We've not really figured it out, though, have we? I mean, we have. But, um... We've still got a few of them to fight. So we need that. Yeah, you're going to tell me all about it. Ramsey and the Crown Killer were just the start. I need to break down Delilah's remaining allies. Jindosh, the Duke, all of them. Yeah, I'm streaming to both at the same time on a program called Restream. Um, it's a website more than a program actually, restream.io. You just put in whatever you want it to stream to and then you, you hook that up to your OBS and use that stream key for your OBS. And then it'll stream to like YouTube, Twitch, Beam, Hitbox, it'll stream to everything all at the same time for you without any, any more overhead to yourself. It's really cool. The only problem it has is sometimes restream will go down. Like today it went down for maintenance and I never realized it was going to go down. Conditioning Sokolov. Sokolov is more resistant to the notion of calibrating than anticipated. Oh, cal calibrating. Collaborating than anticipated. He's a stubborn old goat, which could be his undoing unless I'm careful with the electro electroshock machine. Leave him alone, you bastard. My goal is to render Sokolov pliable, but still capable of assisting me in designing a new version of the Clockwork Soldier. At the moment, each clockwork costs a fortune, but I'm certain my old teacher and I can find a way to reduce the cost. What kind of sadistic joke is this? With this machine, maybe hey, you won't have to die Russia. after all, Jindash. And that's the thing as well, almighty. Um, Crypt Cap is my bot, right? You know that. But the way I've got it set up, you can get something called Scort Bot, which will relay the chat through your bot. So Cap Rosher is actually watching on Beam right now. So you guys can talk to the Beam guys. The Beam guys can talk to you. Uh, if you don't want that to happen, that's fine. You can. I've got Scort Bot open, so I can see both chats. Oh, you can't get it to do it? Have you got bots in both of your... Both of your things? Hey, Beam guys! Hey, Twitch guys! Right, so that's done. Quick save. Throw empty bottles. I really want to smash this thing up. Get that shit out of here. Do we bastard. We got a bunch of charm around here, right? Oh man, is this... Is this a big old crazy jump puzzle? We got this one down here. Oh man, I hate the ones that are like literally just... Just out of your reach. There's a... There is a lever here though, so... Keep on turning. Oh man. Your bedroom's weird, dude. Oh, this is how we get down to it. Point. Big wheel, keep on turning. This level design is mental. Woo! 
mental, 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 mental level design. Boom, 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 mental. Uh, okay, back up. All the subscribers, I've just done it through Game Wisp at the moment. Um, I mean, if I ever get to the point where I'm a Twitch partner or a Beam partner, then I'll probably stop the thing. Stop the Game Wisp. I don't actually need to be partnered with anything anymore, though, because I get transcoding options on Beam. And I get transcoding options on Twitch, just like everybody else now, so... I've got no reason to be partnered, which is nice. Outside of the fact that a lot of people don't want to subscribe outside of Twitch because it's a third party and they're unsure where the money's going to go and all that sort of thing. But, um... Yeah, I've got I've got a couple of subs already. They're, they're absolutely bonkers. I've told them they get nothing for it apart from my warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Shifting the walls and floors as if you were born here. Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, hold on a second. What the actual shit? This is nuts. I thought it was just a two two prong dealio. No. No two prong dealio. I don't even know where we are anymore. This whole fucking room spins. Yeah, as far as the, the, the subs at the moment, it's Game Wisp. So you can do it, I guess you could do it through Patreon or Game Wisp at the minute. Anybody can set up those accounts. And then it's just like a monthly subscription that people want to buy into. Um, each of them take their own little fee, of course. But it's to be expected, Brie. That's it. Closer and closer. I'm waiting. I don't want to come to you yet. I want to get Sokolov out of there. Dirty sucker bag. Honestly, I bear no ill will towards Emily Caldwin or her father, the Royal Protector. I've never given a single fig for any of those palace-born nobles in Dunwall, so how can I think ill of an empress or another? You would not be incorrect in suggesting that my motivations for assisting the Duke were at least twofold. I wanted to advance the causes of natural philosophy for the sake of the work itself and to show those stodgy morons at the Academy the late that they're very nearly extinguished. Further, of course, I am no stranger to infamy in the fact that I am fond of it. Oh, sorry, and in fact, I am fond of it. But there's more deriving, uh, driving the engines of my desire. Dynasties rise and fall with ages through mundane catalysts such as famine, plague or bankruptcy. Now, however, we live in a time that has been shaped by genius. Just as Roseboro, Sokolov, Joplin and Hypatia have set the wheels of history spinning with their contributions, so will, will, so will Karin Jindosh. Oh man. And it is my goal to eclipse those who came before me. No matter how the history books record the tale regarding this turn in power, it must be stated that it was only possible through the advances in industry and technological exploration. Power now rests in the hands of the brilliant and the world will never be the same. We don't, we don't want to do that yet, dude. No. 
How did I get here? I'm not even sure anymore. When, why don't you pull this little fella? The whole friggin' room spins. Bye, room. Goodbye, little room. Okay, so we're back here, right? But it's not the same here. Because... Wasn't there a... fuck is going on? There's a book in there that I want to read. Oh, there's your bedroom. Your whole bedroom spun around. Wait! Where are we now? Oh, you can set it up any way you want, like, that's the good thing. I've got it set to 499. I don't know why I put it to 499. It, it was a fiver and I set it to 499 because bargains, right? You get a penny. Keep a penny. Um, but you can set it up to a pound. You can have all different sort of tiers. You can have, like, some streamers have got hundreds of pounds for certain tiers. You're just like, what? But I just set it up to whatever um, it was defaulted in. And then I gave a penny back because I'm a giver. I I'm a giver, not a taker. I don't see the point in having work. other tiers. My little guys are called Reaplings because why not, right? Um, yeah, I don't understand the point in having extra tiers. Because I can't give tier 1 people anything apart from a thank you. And I feel shit for that, but... What am I going to give tier 2 that's going to be extra to a bigger thank you? I'll say thank you very much. And then tier 3 will be thank you very, very, very much. Tier 4 I'll probably suck your dick, honestly, but, I mean, tiers 1 through 3, there's no, there's no sucky action going on. My electric shock machine provides insights into the human mind, though admittedly, the subject is damaged or destroyed in the process. The advancement of knowledge is usually worth the sacrifice, of course. Once having tested it on a baker, uh oh, I found it could... Al obliterate memories of his life and thus his personality while not impeding his ability to bake bread. I thought it odd at the time but this is the exact effect I wish to reproduce in Sokolov. Sadly I've never been able to reproduce it to my satisfaction. Sokolov however is no mere baker. If he refuses to aid me it's doubtful that the machine could be used to weaken his willpower without also obliterating the knowledge and capabilities that are so precious to me. Still, the thought of reducing Sokolov to a state of infantile stupor is rather satisfying. Tier 5 reach around? Yeah, tier 5 definitely a, th a thumb up the bum. For sure. Tier 6? Too hot for Twitch. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to separate people that don't pay from people that do pay. And there's too many streamers that are like, well, I'll play with you. In a non-sexual way. I'll, Stilton. I'll play games with you if you sub. It's like, bitch please, you better play games with anybody. They shouldn't have to drop some money for you to play games with them, surely. Let's push that and get out. Oh no. Oh no, we got the spin thing going again. No! Wait, is this the way to get out? I think we did it. Amazing. And yeah, there's... The one that gets me is, I've seen someone's, I'm not going to mention whose it was, but I've seen someone's Game Wisp that was... Tier 1. I'll play games with you on sub days. Which is fine, right? I mean, it's it's a good incentive, especially if they've got a big viewer base. Uh, they can't always play games with, with people. They don't want to upset people, so it's like, okay, if you want to... If you want to spend some money and support me, then on sub sub days, 
we'll play games together. Fine. No problem with that. Tier 2, higher priority. And I'm like, what the fuck? Some poor sap may only have that much money. And it's not really a poor sap, is it? It's some somebody that's generous enough to give you some hard-earned currency is paid for that privilege to play games with you. And now you're going to fucking paywall them even further? No, no thank you. Anyway, I can't... There's so many, there's so many Game West profiles that I've seen that are like that. It's ridiculous and I just thought, you know what? I can't give anybody anything because I don't want to cancel out the people that don't pay anything. I don't do this... I, I do this for nothing. To no viewers, so... Well, look, look here. So the high and mighty Anton Sokolov won't deign to me. I deign to aid me in my efforts to make a new version of the Clockwork Soldier. Fine! I have another solution. My electroshock machine. Long side project of little practical use. It will be just the thing. If I can find the right calibration, it should be able to damage those parts of Sokolov main related to the independence and free will. Leaving intact his vast knowledge and hopefully an even more important quality the old man possesses, though it pains me to admit it, his legendary creativity. I mean, don't get me wrong, if somebody comes in and is like, hey, I want to give you all of my money, it's like... I, I tell them, first of all, please don't... Please don't give me anything, just... Uh, spend your money on something reasonable. But if they insist, fuck yeah, send me your money if you want. You want another tier? You want a tier where it's just... You because you're a crazy fool? Then that's fine, I don't mind. That's where we're going to leave it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, as always, take great care of yourself. Be good, be safe. And I will see you guys in the next one.